What's in a name? A local woman has struggled with that question her entire life because her name is Capone, as in Al Capone, the most feared crime boss in American history. Now Deidre Capone has written a book about her great uncle. She lives in Lee County and Wink News senior reporter Mike Walter had a chance to talk with her. He was a man's man. If you met him, you would like him. Deidre Capone spoke at the Davis Arts Center in Fort Myers. This is my story. She's written Uncle Al Capone, the untold story from inside the family. He taught me to ride a bike. He taught me to play the mandolin. We would cook together. We would sing together. Oh, yeah. We were a very close family. Deidre says Uncle Al was a brilliant businessman who gave people what they wanted during Prohibition. My family prided themselves that they provided good quality alcohol. Deidre says she was shunned by classmates at school and fired from her first job out of school because of her name. It was horrible to grow up in the city of Chicago with the last name Capone. It was awful. Deidre notes Al Capone was not in prison for gangland violence, only income tax evasion. Decades after his death, though, the government portrayed him as a public enemy for all time. She hid her name from everyone but her husband. There'd be times that I would be mad at God for making me a Capone. She told her four children after they moved away from Chicago. I said, I was born Deirdre Marie Capone. Al Capone was my uncle. They looked back at me, and in unison, all four of them went, cool, Mom. Now Deidre is the last remaining member of the Chicago Capones. And she likes to point out she, her four children, and 14 grandchildren are crime-free. There's nev never been anything more than a speeding ticket or a parking ticket that any one of us have ever gotten. So where's, where's this evil that people try to portray him? You know, it's, it's just not there. I'm Mike Walter, Wake News Now. What a story yeah, she has. Yeah, absolutely. Though. Deidre Capone says she realizes that her remembrances are going up against a tidal wave of negative opinion about Al Capone. But she feels compelled to add her words to the record. And now she has. Mm -hmm.